I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer. I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I Mark, I'll, I'll, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. All right, just thought I'd do a video exposing this uh, wicked devil, Rich Pinkowski, and just showing you how he behaves when you try to rebuke him and how he is basically just a cult leader who just can't stand it when you try to rebuke him. Got some uh, screenshots I'm gonna show from uh, I took myself and also from my sister in Christ who lovingly tried to correct him and rebuke him and Pinkowski just got prideful and didn't want to take the correction. And you're gonna see how, because it's funny how Pinkowski, and by the way, EJ Love, Eric Love over at Sword of Truth uh, Ministries, he did a really good video exposing Pankowski for the lying devil and pervert that he is. We're going to show you um, the the uh, scriptures on the qualifications for a bishop because Pankowski claims to be a pastor and says he is the best Bible teacher in America and that kind of stuff. We're going to show you the qualifications of a bishop and how Pankowski, the lying devil that he is, does not meet those qualifications. And this is going to be a harsh rebuke because he has been reproved and corrected by many people multiple times, and yet he won't. He just won't change. He won't admit and repent to being wrong. He won't admit to being wrong and repent. And E.J. Love exposed him for, and his cult, his, his so-called warriors for Christ, that cult, they're really just warriors for the Antichrist, but E.J. Love exposed his cult for the, the wicked devils that they are, the, the lying team of devils that they are. We're going to show you the scriptures on the qualifications of a bishop. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verses 2 to 7. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife. Yeah, Pankowski does not meet that qualification because he's an adulterer. He's an unrepentant adult adultery. So he's not the husband of one wife. He did not have the scriptural grounds for uh, adultery, for basically divorce. Because divorce plus remarriage is adultery, except for the exceptions of fornication in Matthew chapter uh, 5, verse 32, and Matthew chapter 19, verse number 9. Uh, so he does not meet that qualification. Uh, vigilant, sober, of good behavior. You're going to see from these screenshots that he is not of good behavior. Given the hospitality, again, the screenshots are going to show he is not given the hospitality. He is a controlling diatrophy. You read about that in First John, uh, sorry, Third John one nine. Uh, apt to teach, not given to wine, nor a striker, nor greedy, a filthy lucre, but patient. He's definitely not patient. Not a brawler, not covetous. One that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. Not so good at ruling your own house when you're letting your kids watch superhero films, which are all depictions of the Antichrist. You know, like, like this Man of Steel film uh, movie came out in 2013. It's a depiction of the Antichrist. That's all it is. Uh, as, as are the other. Uh, plus, also, a lot of these superheroes are based off pagan, pagan Greek, and Roman gods. So, yeah, g great influence on your kids there. So you're definitely not ruling your own house well. For if a man, verse 5, For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall, how shall he take care of the church of God? Verse 6, Not a novice, lest being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. And you're going to see that Pinkowski lifted up with pride. He's a child of pride, just like his father Satan. You're going to read about that in, um, sorry, he's a child of pride, which proves he's a child of Satan, because Satan is the king over all the children of pride. You can read about that in Job. Uh, 41.34 uh, Verse 7 Moreover he must have a good report of them which are without uh, lest he fall into the repro reproach and the snare of the devil. And you're going to see that he does not meet these qualifications. He's not sober. He's not of good behavior. He's not given the hospitality. He is not patient and he's not ruling his own house well. And he is lifted up of pride. So that, now on to the uh, screenshots. First I'm going to show you the ones that I took. And then I'm going to show you the ones that the Sister in Christ sent me. So this is a screenshot I took where the Sister in Christ, 
uh, one of her Instagram pages, she was uh, rebuking Pankowski because, you know, being the prideful devil that he is, uh, she was rebuking him for being a prideful devil. And she said we should give them the gospel and let, for, referring to the Sodomites, we should give them the gospel and let them know how that Jesus can set them free. If we, if you gave the gospel to them, then that's good. But telling them that, telling them this person that wins what aids, uh, isn't sharing the gospel. And he says to her, "Shut up." So no, no scriptural response, because again, a lot of these tree preachers are pompous and, and high-minded. So they go out and you know rightfully condemn the perverted sodomites at their perverted sodomite pride rallies but then they get prideful and say well look what i'm doing you know and you're going to see that later in, the, in these screenshots but that's so i get i get in there and say uh mine mine is uh, john craig and kjv i get in there and say you are a wicked lying devil ej love eric love expose you for the lying devil and pervert that you are you are prideful and puffed up just like your father the devil see isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 to 15. let's turn there isaiah chapter 14 Verses 12 to 15. Because Satan is basically prideful. You can, again, you can read about that in Job 40, chapter 41, verse 34. Satan is a king over all the children of pride. That's, that's what he is. And Pekoski is a child of pride. Isaiah chapter 14, beginning at verse 12. How art there fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How, and it's, it's funny too, because son of the morning, well, Rich, Rich, Rich Pankowski is big on the modern versions. Well, quick little side note, because uh, he, he, he's against, you know, the King James only cult and that kind of stuff. Well, his modern versions actually give, and this is just a little side note, not like on the topic or whatever, but uh, his little modern versions actually give uh, G, Satan a title of Jesus. I'm going to show you this in the, this is Isaiah 14, verse 12 in the ESV. How art thou fallen from heaven, O day star, son of the dawn? So he's calling him, he's calling Lucifer, the ESV is calling him, O day star, son of the dawn. Well, you go to, I think it's uh, Revelation 22, verse 16, if I'm not mistaken. So now this is Jesus Christ. So keep in mind, keep in mind Isaiah 14 of the ESV, O day star, son of the dawn. So it's, that's referring to Satan in that verse. We'll look at uh, Revelation 22, 16 in the ESV. I, Jesus, have sent the, my angel to testify to the, these things and for the churches. I am the root and the descendant of David, the bright and morning star. Huh. O day star, son of the dawn. So Isaiah 14, verse 12 is giving Satan the title of the morning star, essentially. But then in Revelation 22, verse 16, Jesus Christ is given that exact same title. So the ESV, which Pinkowski, you know, would probably be using, because he's big on the modern versions, and there's other versions too that do this, they, they give Jesus Christ a title of Satan. Or you could say they give Satan a title of Jesus. And yet you wonder why I stick to the King James only. I don't use these the satanic modern versions who give Satan titles of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Uh, back to Isaiah chapter 14. Now just a little side note showing you how he's you know, because that does explain why he is, he is so so prideful and so arrogant and just a, a child of the devil, because he's using Satan's modern versions. So, anyway, O son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Uh, verse 13, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit upon the mount of the congregation of the sides in the sides of the north, I will ascend in, above the heights of the clouds, I will be like the most high. Hmm, kind of like Mikoski saying, I went out and I rebuked the Sodomites. I went out and shut down Drag Queen Story Hour. I went out and did this. I went out, I went out, you know, I did this, I did this, you know, me, me, me. He's a child of pride. That's all he is. It's always about me. Look what I've done. Look what, look what me. I'm doing so good. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Prideful. He's a, he's a child of Satan. He has the exact same mentality of Satan. And it's funny too, because there's five different, you know, I, I, I from Satan. Well, if you read, uh, not read, sorry. Uh, in the Bible, the, the, the yeah, number five is often associated with death, which is very interesting. But uh, verse 15, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit, which is exactly the fate of Pankowski. You know, he's lifting himself up. I will be like the most high. Because you know, he thinks he's going to ascend to heaven because he's sinlessly perfect. But yeah, he's going he, to be brought down to hell. So I rebuke him, and his, his, his uh, response to me Uh you know, at John Craig and KJV, EJ Love, the child predator liar. Lo, you're a moron and a tool just like him. He exposed me. What, lol, what a tool. I think he meant to say fool, but 
I mean, the guy cannot spell anything. He, he, like, he can't write any sentence on the internet without having spelling errors. Yeah, he loves to brag about how smart he is and how he's a, he can read Greek and Hebrew and he can, you know, he's a, he's a best, he's a good Bible teacher. But yeah, he came and, like, spelled basic English. Ridiculous. That's why he, he has rebuked, he has been rebuked by everyone. Only a moron, look at this, only a moron would believe R-H-E-B-L-K-E-S-N-K-F. What? What is that? What is that supposed to spell? I mean, it's just a dribble of letters. It's ridiculous. I mean, this is like he can't spell any sentence, and I think it's you know it's kind of helpful he can do that because, you know, EJ Love was able to use that to figure out that it was him that was behind that fake you know EJ's mobile detailing Facebook page, because it has all kind of, had spelling mistakes in it. And, and this is not just this is not just this is just one example. Go look at his Facebook page. All kinds of posts have spelling errors, grammar errors. I mean, the guy he he types like he's on meth. He types like he's on like like high on weed or or vape or whatever. So he says uh, you would believe that R H E B L K E S M N K F that homo. So he's calling EJ Love a homo because he exposed him. You know, funny for a guy who's so prideful and puffed up and how smart he is. He came and spelled basic basic English. Um, then she said, the sister in Christ, she says, I think it's funny how you attack others who try to, who meant, who you mentioned, who mentioned, try to correct you. I said nothing wrong and said homosexuals need the gospel and you want to tell me to shut up. Seriously, dude, you need to stop this. Repent. Amen to that. And I say, I say to him, uh, you, I said, I said to him at Warriors Church, are you even able to spell? You write like you're on high on weed. Don't worry. I've kept screenshots of this conversation, which I'm showing in this video and your other wicked comments. You are an accuser of the brethren, just like your father Satan. See Revelation 12, 10. I'm gonna go there now. Revelation chapter 12 and verse number 10. A good verse that describes Pankowski. Uh, Revelation, Revelation 12, 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Satan's an accuser of the brethren, and so is Rich Pankowski, the wicked devil that he is. Now back to the screenshots. So I say, if you don't repent, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ shuts your lying, slanderous, railing mouth. You ask that you also realize you realize that calling someone a child predator without proof is a criminal offense. EJ Love could take you to court and charge you for defamation, but not much is to be expected of you from you or your lying team of devils. Exactly. Calling someone a ch just accusing someone of being a child predator without any proof is a defamation of character. It's a criminal offense. It is uh, you you can get charged for that. You can get sued for that. So if EJ Love wanted to take this wicked devil to court, he could. But um, now from the now to the screenshots from the sister in Christ that she sent me, and you're gonna see even these screenshots that just pride oozes out of him. So, uh, well, this is the screenshot that. Uh, was from that I showed earlier the comment that I showed earlier sorry um, and he says uh, he, he says down to me uh, you give your ears to gossip and slander like him the devil is you you're just as much of a scumbag as that homo is I mean just railing accusations you know just like his father Satan and funny, he's calling him a homo so for anyone who disagrees with, with Minkowski is basically a sodomite essentially you know uh, yeah, I showed that comment. He says, uh, shut up Laodicean after she rebukes him. Because again, like all cult leaders, just like any cult leader, they can't stand it when they get criticized or rebuked. Uh, actually, let me just zoom in on this one. So he says, uh, we should get, oh yeah, she said, I already showed that one. He says, uh, I don't tell reprobates what they want to hear. Funny because you're a reprobate, Pinkowski. I have no, no, uh, what's the word? I have, um, Sorry, I'm blanking out. It's kind of, I'm just kind of tired right now. But uh, um, sorry, I, I have no regrets saying that. I'll put it that way. I have no regrets saying that because go watch EJ Love's video. I'll link it. I'll link it in the description, showing how Pankowski is just a wicked, lying devil. And by the way, I'm not saying that reprobate means like you're beyond salvation, like like a Calvinistic type of of you know heresy. I'm just saying that when you're reprobate, it's not a good condition. Like you're basically being rejected by God, essentially. But when you're a reprobate, because I'm not, I don't subscribe to the whole new IFB, you know, Calvinistic type mentality of when you're a reprobate, it's just you're, you're beyond the hope of salvation, no. But 
it is pretty bad when you're a reprobate at that point, when God turns you over to your reprobate mind. You can, you can read about that in uh, Romans chapter 1, verses 18 through to 32. For example, homosexuality is the result of a reprobate mind. You know, it's the result of your conscience being just being so perverted that you have these unnatural attractions of homosexuality. But uh, I'm not going to get too much into that. So he says, uh, you know, he says, I'll tell you what. Uh, so look, look what he says here. Look at the pride. He says, he says to the sister in Christ, tell you what, you come out to a pride event and show me how to do it. I mean, no pride there, huh? You know, ridiculous. I mean, just pride. Are you, how about you, how, what are you? What are you doing? You come out to the pride event. Again, that's the thing I've seen with a lot of these, these street papists. I call them papists because they're just preaching Roman Catholic heresies. That's all they are. They're just Roman Catholics. They, they may say, oh, well, yeah, we, we rebuke Catholics. Yeah, you, you may go outside the Catholic Church, or Reuben Israel may go to the Catholic Convention and, you know, smash Mary idols and that kind of stuff and, you know, rebuke the pedophilic Catholic priests. But in terms of their doctrine, they're just Roman Catholics. They preach Catholic heresies. They preach like you have to basically die in a sinless state. Like, essentially what they believe is you have to basically die in, like, a sinlessly perfect state to go to heaven. Just like how, just like how the uh, Catholics believe. You have to die in a state of state of grace to be saved. It's it's the same heresy repackaged. It's uh, just Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholic heresy is repackaged. So then she says to him, rightfully says to him, um, that comment is full of pride, and it is. Again, a lot of these street preachers, they're pompous and high-minded, and they say, "Well, look what we're doing. We're going out. We're, we're they have almost like this this Muslim Islamic type of mentality of we're going to go out, we're going to fight sin on the streets, we're going to you know go to the pornographers, we're going to you know rebuke the fornicators and the drunkards and the you know whatever. It's all about pride. It's all about boasting about look what I'm doing. Look at me. Look at me. You know, just like Satan, I'll be like the Most High. I'll ascend into heaven. They're proving that they are they are children of pride. Let me show you a good scripture on that. Job. I mentioned this one earlier. But it is so hot in my room right now. Uh, I'm like sweating right now, it's so hot. Job uh, 41, verse 34. And I, I referenced this verse earlier. Job chapter 41, verse 34. He beholdeth all high things. He is a king over all the children of pride. Referring to Satan. These Most of these papists, these Catholics, these closet Catholics. What is my cat doing? Oh, just rummaging around. These closet Catholics, these, sorry, Roman Catholic uh, papists, that's all they are. They are they are children of pride. They and, and Satan is their king, basically. That's what it comes down to. They just brag and boast about what they do. Because essentially they're, they're meriting their salvation by that, essentially. Because again, they, they believe in like, oh, they'll say, oh, we don't teach work salvation. Yeah, you do. If you're having to basically like be sinlessly perfect and, and live in holiness to be saved, you're, you're saving yourself. You're working your way to heaven. You see these 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 devils, these these street preaching Catholic devils, they have no knowledge of the new birth. They have no knowledge of spiritual regeneration. They think they have to clean themselves up and basically merit their salvation that way. That's what they believe. That's what that's what it comes down to. They'll deny it, but that's what it comes down to. They're having to clean themselves up to basically save themselves, which is someone who's saved. They they are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sins, past, present, and future. You can see that there's four verses that mention that: Acts thirteen thirty nine, Colossians two thirteen, Titus two fourteen, and First John one seven. Those four verses all say that all your sin is forgiven, which would mean past, present, and future. But when you get saved, you have spiritual regeneration. The Holy Ghost comes in, cleans your life up, gets sin out of your life. The uh, drunkard does not stay drunk. The fornicator does not keep fornicating. The prostitute. The harlot does not keep prostituting herself. You know, the drug dealer does not keep dealing drugs, etc., etc., etc. So, these devils have no knowledge of the new birth. They think they have to clean themselves up. And then, and it's funny because any easy believers in people will, will accuse someone like me of being a lordship salvationist and I'm, I'm backloading works. But then, you know, I'm saying, basically, what I'm saying is that, oh, the Holy Spirit is who cleans you up. I'm not saying you have to clean yourself up. But then these same easy believers devils who attack me and want to call me a lordship salvationist seem to ignore Pankowski who's openly saying that you got to clean your life up and say, oh, you got to, you basically have to live a sinless life to be saved. They're saving themselves. And it's funny because they'll hold up signs that says, oh, trust Jesus, you know, Jesus saved from hell, Jesus will save you from your sins. But when it comes down to it, they're saving themselves because they're having to the merit their salvation. Like Paul talks about in Romans 10.3, 10, chapter 10, verse 3, they're trying to establish their own righteousness rather than submit to the righteousness of God. They're self-righteous, which, you know, is why they're prideful, because they're trying to merit their salvation that way. 
they're just Roman Catholics. That's all they are. They are trying to, it's like the uh, uh, Genesis 3, 5 says, ye shall be as gods. They're trying to become their own god. That's why some of them, that's why these modern versions they like to use say you have to be an imitator of Jesus Christ. Because they're trying to become a god in their own in their own little demonic minds. So then he, she says to her, uh, shut up, Laodicean. He says back to her, don't tell me to shut up when I corrected you and I said nothing wrong. He says back to her, again, just shut up. Because he can't take correction. He's prideful, he's puffed up, he's high-minded, he's arrogant, and he just cannot take, he can't stand it when someone tries to correct him. That's how all these cult leaders are like. That's, that's how, I mean, you talk to any, you know, Pope, I guarantee you, he, he's basically a Pope. That's all he is. You talk to the Pope, you try to say, hey, you're wrong. This is what scripture says, he'll get mad at you. And in and, and prior generations, they would burn you at the stake for defying the Antichrist pagan pope. So he says, she says, yeah, she says to him, no, you aren't going to tell me to shut up. Show me what I said is wrong and I will uh, stop your pride. Amen, exactly. He is consumed in pride. He is a child of pride, just like, and Satan is his father. Like we read in Job uh, 41 and 34. Um, so he says, so he, he just keeps telling her to shut up because again, he, he can't take correction. Um, he says to her, uh, shut up. He says, no, again, tell me what I said is wrong. He says to her again, shut up. And she says, no, you know, so no, no scripture response, just shut up, shut up, shut up. You know, no scripture at all because he just doesn't like, he, again, just like any Pope, just like any you know, bishop or, or Catholic priest, they want to lord over the assembly. They want to be preeminent. They want to have preeminence among the brethren. Just like uh, 3 John 1 9 talks about with uh, Diotrephes. Pankowski is a Diotrephes devil. He says, again, shut up. And then he says to me, uh, oh, yeah, I, already, I already read that comment, but um, yeah, calling EJ Love a child. Some of, this, some of these comments are basically screenshots that both me and, me and her took. So that's what they kind of overlap. But, uh, uh, yeah, I already showed that one. A lot of these are just the same comments or just different because the Instagram comment thread is kind of weird. I don't understand. It's kind of weird how it works though. But, um, so now I, I, this is a, oh yeah, I read that comment, but then he says back to me when I, when I say that, you know, you're an accused of the brethren, like revelation twelve ten says, he says back to me, sorry, something in my mouth I had the burp there for a second. Uh, he says to me, John Craig and KJB, I'm an accuser. That's what you did, moron. He is a child predator. I could take him to court for saying my wife makes pornographic films and for claiming I abuse my children, both lies that you believe. Get out of here with your idiocy. You know? Yeah, sure. And most of the followers are probably just going to, you know, answer, answer the matter before they hear it, just like Proverbs thir uh, thir 8, 13. Proverbs 18, 13 says, you know, he that answereth the matter before he heareth it, it is falling in shame unto him. Uh, they're not going to watch the video because they don't like it when their cult leader is being criticized. So then um, I say back to him, uh, I'm not accusing, I'm rebuking you for the rotten devil that you are. And I think after that, he blocked me. So yeah, re re real, um, real good pastor right there, you know, blocking people who try to rebuke you. But now I'm going to show you some of the screenshots that uh, were in the comments of EJ's, one of EJ's live streams where Pankowski actually got on there and started calling him, just, just railing on him, being a false accuser, just, you know, like his father Satan, the accuser of the brethren. And by, by the way, you know, I don't agree with, with EJ on, on everything on a doctrinal basis. Uh, for example, I don't agree with, you know, the post, his whole post-trib stuff and everything like that. Uh, but he, he exposed very, very, very well, good videos exposing Pankowski. So this is in the uh, comment. These are the screenshots I took. Uh, this is in the comments of one of his live streams uh, about how there was a. Uh, let me just. I think it was a. It was a. There was a war. It was basically about how there was a Richard Pankowski cult member who was like I think threatening to kill or threatening death upon uh, EJ. So he did a live stream about that. So this is you know Warriors for Christ. And funny because the logo he's got the Punisher logo on it. Let me show that. Zoom in on that. Notice how he's got the uh, Punisher logo on his thumbnail, which is an occultic symbol. So, real, real good at being sinlessly perfect right there. But he says to her, he says to him basically, uh, and these, these are screenshots that I kind of highlighted. He says, uh, "You're LGBT, buddy," and he says, uh, he calls him an LGBT there because anyone, anyone who exposes Pankowski is just automatically a sodomite pervert, essentially. 
and he says um, to him, I'm just uh, hard to still get still getting the hang of this whole mouse thing. It's weird to use. He says uh, to him, I don't obsess over men like your gay husband. You know, just. I mean, these are, these are not the actions of a, of a bishop. No way. He's not of good behavior. He's not given the hospitality. He's not uh, patient. He's not. Um, what's it? What's the? Uh, he's not sober. Obviously, he's not vigilant. I mean, when, when you let your kids watch Disney films, which are filled with occultism and witchcraft and feminism, then you're not very you're not very vigilant. He says to him again, homo. He says you have the fruit of a homo. And he says again, homos. Uh, he says, uh, he says, uh, yet, and yet you broke up with him. You and obsess over men. And then this other screenshot. He says again. He calls. He accuses EJ. Uh, he says, like your gay husband, projecting homo. Yeah, this guy is supposedly a pastor. Yeah, sure he is. So. Uh, to end off at this, uh, Pinkowski, you're a wicked devil, and you need to get saved. You're a lost, lying minister of Satan, and you're going to burn in hell if you don't repent. Okay, you've been exposed. You're a, a wicked, wicked devil. Okay, you may you may boast about how you got the drag queen story hour shut down, and you you got the uh, perverted, freakish drag queens, you know, the, to stop their event, but you never give glory to God for that. You say, oh look what we got, drag queen story hour shut down. Where's the glory to God? It's all about boasting. It's all about what you've done. You know, like Ephesians 2, 8, 9. You know, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh, Romans chapter 3, let me go there. Because that's the thing too, when, you, when you're trying to save yourself by your works, you're going to start boasting. You're going to become prideful over what you've done. It just it just goes hand in hand. But uh, Romans three twenty seven. where is boasting then? Is it excluded by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. But when you're saving yourself by your works and your holiness and self righteousness, never mind the fact that Isaiah uh, Isaiah chapter sixty four verse six says that our righteousness are as filthy rags. But when you're trying to save yourself, you're going to start boasting. You're going to say, "Look what I've done! Look at me, 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 me." Self righteousness all the way through. So may the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Pinkowski, and may He shut your lying mouth, your lying, wicked, slanderous mouth, if you don't repent. And I mean it. If you don't repent, actually, let me give you the scripture on that. Because people say, oh, where is that in scripture? I'll, I'll show you that in scripture. Uh, let me just do share screen. Psalms 31, verse 18. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. His lips are lying lips, and they're speaking proudly contemptuously lying things against the righteous so may your may your uh, lying lips may your lying lips put the silence may the lord jesus christ shut your lying mouth if you don't repent and I, I do pray you do repent okay i really do but you're a wicked devil you've exposed yourself many many times as a wicked devil and a pervert so i pray you repent and i pray your followers repent too and get out of your cult and stop stop i mean if you're if any if any of his followers if any of you guys are listening to this you're in a cult, and you're being manipulated and controlled by this wicked cult leader. You need to repent and get born again, because you're not you're clearly not born again by the way you act. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now, and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I was a womanizer. I was, I, you know, I was a drug addict. I did drugs. I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. I hurt women. I lied to them. I, I slept with everybody and their brother. 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 I, Mark. I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I slept with everybody and their brother.